Hey all, and welcome back. Today I have a throwback to the 80s for you all. This is a Muscle Man figure. Now, if you're not familiar, this was a little pocket figure from the 80s. There were tons of them. They were wrestlers, and they combated each other. While we've known them as Muscle, which was an acronym, or later as Ultimate Muscle, they originally come from a line called Kinikamon. And these were Kinkeshi figures that people like to collect. Well, I always thought they were kind of cool, though this was the only one I really ever had. But I just got a package in from Japan. Now, I will not be able to review the package itself. However, I can give you guys a taste of the toy. And what this is here is the full action line, which is essentially a snap-together model kit that gives you the single color that you would have of those. You can see the sprues here. But after assembled, you have fully articulated versions of these guys. Now this was a iconic figure. This was the main one that was also used in the show. You saw this one pretty often in the toy line. And there are a few other ones as you can see here. This is from series two, but I wanted the main guy here. So let's go ahead and put them together and see if he's worthy of our collection. Assembling this isn't too bad. It requires a little bit of force, and luckily the instructions have the parts numbered because it's too hard to see on the actual sprues. Here you can see the inner joint system. You can see where the shoulders attach, as well as how there's an ab crunch and where the neck would attach. Having them next to each other is quite the upgrade. We have the aesthetic, we have the solid monocolored figure, and I think it really looks the part. While assembly isn't terribly tricky, it requires a little bit of force to get the parts to go in, but overall, it's not too bad. I would really like to have a version of this guy in this color just for nostalgia's sake. This one is close enough to where maybe I could do a little bit of molding on the face. Uh, the chest might be a little bit hard to cover, but this is its own figure. But seeing these guys together, it is definitely true to its source material. Of course, the scale is bigger, and we have articulation. That articulation comes mostly with benefits, but with one minor flaw, which we'll get into in a second. I wanna talk about the extra parts. We have an extra set of open hands. Also on the sprue, I have an extra joint and extra ab section to sort of give him a crunched overlook. Now getting into articulation, there are mostly pluses here with one minor flaw which I will get into. But let's first go ahead and talk about what we can do. So we have rotation of the shoulder. We have a nice joint here. that lets us go in and out. We actually have kind of a butterfly joint here. So you can have them kind of actually grappling each other like real wrestlers. We have a pretty decent elbow joint. We have rotation and movement of the hand and the hands do pop off to swap them out. We have ab crunch, rotation. So we can have our punches and swings. I did work it kind of loose doing that, but it just pops back in there. We have movement at the hip. So we can go outward, we can go around. Pretty good there. We have a double jointed knee. If you push too hard, you'll actually pop it out of the joint, but it is easily rectified. And then we have a ball joint at the ankle. Now, all those are great. I think those are great additions. Having said all that, I am very happy with this. This captures the aesthetic, captures the feel. It gives us something that those figures just did not have. The only minor flaw, and it's something you can work around once you're aware of it, is the neck joint. So we have a head that can rotate. And if you push down while turning it, all is well. But the neck joint itself could probably use to be one to two millimeters longer because it's just a cup. And so by actually posing it, you'll pop it out. So it's just something to be aware of. And once you're aware of it, you can kind of work around it. But that is probably the major flaw of this figure. And, you know, that that turns it from being an action figure into being something more posed. And you can actually see in here, it's just a cylinder in there. And honestly, it should have been a ball joint like we have on the ankles or whatever. But you just kind of work it back in there. And then we have it. But I didn't want to take too much time on this one. I think this kind of is self-explanatory. It is a very cool throwback to the old 80s pocket toys. We have articulation, we have the aesthetic. There's a few more to collect and they actually have different colorways. I hope they keep making them. They haven't released them outside Japan. They really should. So anyway, 
Let us know in the comments below if you think this is worthy of your collection. Like and subscribe, and we'll see you all next time.